One is type 2 diabetes. Then the other one is cancer, cognitive uh, or dementia, and cardiovascular disease. So you, you, you can see in your results the percentage of risks that you have to develop that, that specific disease, and it gives you one year, three years, five years. Wow. So it's very um, visual, you know, eye-opening because if you don't do anything and you continue your life as is until that moment that you took the test, that's the probability, you know, we'll say something like 20% probability to develop type 2 diabetes in three years, right? But then it also shows that by reducing one, three, five years, your biological age, it will tell you the number that it goes down. You know, you reduce the risk. So if you already have a diagnosis, you take the test, it will give you probably, you know, uh, higher numbers, but you will also learn from those results that if you go through interventions that help you reduce your biological age for three or five years, then you will probably manage better the condition and kick, you know, it's like pushing away the onset. It, I cannot say that it will revert if you are already there, but it can certainly improve because all the markers of aging are very closely related to the markers for chronic diseases.